I caught the tail end of a show the other evening that was all about inventors who have been overlooked. Folks who've had an impact on the world, but you might not necessarily know about them. The list included pivotal advancements in technology and medicine, along with conveniences and staples that we use each and every day. It's funny how a lot of times as humans we'll benefit from something without stopping to question where it came from. Perhaps it's because once we have the answer to one question, we've inevitably uncovered a hundred more. That was certainly the case for me when I came across Clarksdale, Mississippi. While the name might not ring a bell, the legend of Robert Johnson and the crossroads where he sold his soul to the devil are likely more familiar folklore. But in the decades since the devil made his infamous deal, Clarksdale has popped up in some quirky ways, most recently welcoming some popular proprietors, as well as a blues festival that's internationally renowned. So on this episode of Tennessee Valley Uncharted, we're headed to the crossroads to see for ourselves what this small city is all about. Just down Highway 49, on the way into town, stands the Hobson Commissary, a hip joint where local and unofficial historian Robert Birdsong serves up forgotten facts right alongside cocktails. The story of the crossroads is not so much a deal with the devil. 1989, 1990, Ken Burns started doing a series of documentaries of music highways around the country. Levon Helm got to tell the story of Highway 61. Looked at the camera and said, here I am at Robert Johnson's Crossroads. With that, we're kind of stuck with it. Okay. You know, we're not <laughs> right, going to yeah. argue with Levon Helm. Yeah. You know? Birdsong, who's been hosting tours for over 20 years, is a notable native with endless insight into what makes Clarksdale and the stories that surround the city so special. The story of the Crossroads and its importance in Clarksdale is a migration story. In the 1860s, when blacks were freed from the farms uh, and could travel, they did, and they did so prolifically. And this st started 100 years of out-migration from the South to the North. And Highway 49 starts in uh, Gulfport. Highway 61 starts in New Orleans. But they meet in Clarksdale, and then 49 takes the west side of the Mississippi River and goes to St. Louis. 61 turns into 3rd Street, crosses Beale, and then on to Chicago. Well, during this out-migration period, and we don't know when blues evolved, but by 1903, it had. Clarksdale's New World District and the audience in Clarksdale, after watching all this evolution of blues music, into a performing arts, uh, became very particular in what they accepted as good blues. You can make it on Beale Street, you can make it in St. Louis, you can make it in Chicago. But if you can't please the crowd in Clarksdale, you got some more work to do. 